Hello, hello, this is Pink Ivy Media and I welcome you very specially to this uh, channel. How are you guys doing today? Uh, what's happening at your side? Thank you very much for being part of this video. Oh, wait, thank you. And please give this video a thumbs up as you are listening now. Just click on that subscribe button. And as you do so, God will bless you for me. And also, please uh, share this video and like this video. Please like this video as you are listening now. Thank you and thank you again. So, today again is another wonderful gist, another good and uh, correct, correct gist that we have allegedly heard again from the owner of Ife's Palace. And I have thought that I should bring it here for us to gist it and then talk about it. Now, you know, uh, they always say that for many women, getting pregnant does not come easily. And for a woman who is struggling to conceive, traveling that path can be a lonely one filled with heartache, frustrations, and lots of tears. Ha! Oh my but uh, in the case of this Olori's own, it's still about the pregnancy case so that we are talking about again. The pregnancy case that the elders came to report and accuse only Olori Naomi of that we have made some videos about. You know, in life, everybody defends he or herself for whatever thing that comes up because you guys know that uh, you always love yourself before you are loving anybody. So most of the times when cases come to you like that, you make every effort, every way possible to defend yourself. So that is what is happening, you know? Hmm. So my correct, correct people, we heard now that uh, uh, Olori Mariam also have come out to defend herself. It was Olori Temitokpe that first started in defending herself concerning what they have said about them not getting pregnant they, that the elders came to tell the only of Ife about and say oh Lori Naomi you guys know that she she's an iron lady she she's a kind that does not take anything likely with anyone that will just come and say some kind of thing concerning her so she came out to say that they are uh, that the elders are, are talking about them not getting pregnant what do they know about what is happening to them that for how they have to ask the only of if uh, the reasons why they them they are not getting pregnant because if the only of if uh, has been meeting up with them as much as he's supposed to that should uh, warrant them to get pregnant that why will they not what could have stopped them from not getting pregnant? And so why would the elders come and be making case out of these things? And why would they come and ask them while well, they are not getting pregnant and all of that? And so the Olorin uh, uh, Mariam, he kept saying all of this. You guys know that she, she doesn't take class in anything that happened in the palace. She has so much ghost and, you know, because of the kind of thing she, she, she's adding up to the uh, palace, she say her own at all times. Any case that come up, she always air her view in it. So that was what made her to come out and was telling the uh, uh, people around and the only of if and the elders that they were saying the the, the, the women are not been pregnant since eight, eight months from now that they came to palace and the Ifa priests have said that, that they are cursed and all the Jews that they have been saying that she had that if they are all uh, actually saying that they are they are they are not getting pregnant, they are caused that they they should bring all the Ifa priests to the palace so that they can come and dictate like come and say precisely what the cause is and how come of the cause and all of those things they are saying and not that they have to be there and be and be uh, uh, saying it around that they should come and make confirmation to know. But that is not just uh, the uh, that uh, the pre if a priest say all this that he she has said she does not believe it that uh, it's a cause or anything that if the only of if should know why that the only of if they should ask the only of if the reason why they are not getting pregnant being them the olories in the palace because if the needful uh, has been done 
that they could have gotten pregnant and have their own children and it's not as if them they don't want to get pregnant that they are not getting pregnant at this point and so she kept talking talking over this particular issue and making them to understand that she on her own part was shifting the blame on only of ife and not on the oloris that they should not blame the oloris at all in the palace that it is not their fault that they cannot like her precisely she can't, they can't get herself pregnant uh, except uh, the only of ife comes and they do the needful so and she kept saying you know, and i was like hey oh, but it's not a small thing you know everybody wants to shift blame from themselves so and that reminds me of of a gist so let me just gist you guys one gist there was a time eh, hmm, i was I, I i entered a public transport so uh you, you know as it used to be now in, in this uh, in uh, nigeria that if you enter a private maybe a small uh, a vehicle that they are supposed to carry three in the at the back maybe sometimes one in the front like that and uh, it happens that they were carrying four and i i happened to be the fourth person and the place was so choked was so tight and uh when i entered i was like whoa i cannot sit here and then the lady in the front now said that uh, uh actually so uh, when it comes like that is the slim worm that suffers oh um, uh, guess what happened there is one fat gear in that particular um moto in that particular vehicle that very day you know i'm talking i'm saying this just because of the way everybody defends themselves no one nobody wants to be inferior in anything they want to be like they are the one that is right no blame on them they're always shifting blame guess what this lady said she was now she was like ah you said the slim one suffers it more that how can you say that that she that she there was a time that she entered a, a vehicle like that and and there was this skinny one that entered beside her that the fat one suffer it more because that skinny lady at that day that she said she said the, the the bone of the girl was just piercing her piercing her to the point that she herself she even she was she had a bruises and all of us now shouted wow ah we burst into laugh <laughs> that how possible can somebody's bone be ah, ah, like is the bone totally outside i have to pierce her that she'll get all those bruises so that's the thing though my correct correct for everybody is shifting blame to one person or the other so that's what is happening you know, and the gist for about the only of palace please drop your comment thank you